Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines. My name is Ben Pope and this is the town of Finkerfin. Again, I forgot to press the play button. There it is. And we're looking at many of the one of the many <laughs> beautiful corners in our city where we have the fancy European style row houses. Cars are coming out, just sort of you know, driving over the grass area there. That's okay. And lots of people running around and they're all happy. And today we're gonna get more into building and expanding. And uh, here's just a little bit of an aerial view. Um, some of these spots are still open because the um, demand isn't there for, for the residential. So I can still have some spots open. Um, and we still need more commercial and industry. And looks like there's some commercial building buildings popping up here. It's a nice corner one. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's a quiet shop, level one. You can tell it's low level because it's even its textures are a bit wacky. Uh, but yeah, and we have some, you know, low residential and so on. Here's our mall with all the shops and the cinema great stuff and we have farm areas and we have an issue with a bunch of trucks um, and if you if that doesn't look like a big deal then this is Houston we have a truck problem and how I'm gonna fix this is put in a train station at least over here um, some of these buildings are not getting enough uh, raw materials anyway so putting a train station in right here will help and will also make it so stuff comes in by train and all these trucks don't have to do the transition to bring in things. Last time, if you watched, we put in this windmill interchange, which is nice. It um, I got the design off of Steam, and it is made by Timbo. Uh, Timbo, the interchange maker. There's one of them here. Timbo's Cloverleaf interchange, that one. And then the windmill one up here, and it's, he's got a bunch more that don't even have, like, see there's a Timbo's Gothic interchange. This one's huge, by the way. I might use it eventually. And then we also put in a Dutch windmill last time. And I think it's getting some visitors. 2017. But it's not that popular out here yet, and uh, we can beautify this some more later on. Like, for example, we can definitely put in some of these uh, some of these paths right away uh, there we go and make it so people can walk through that took out one of the trees but that's okay cool so let's get right to our mission since we chose to accept it this area is not looking bad I was thinking of making uh, this high density as well, and everything really. Um, it might look cool. It might be a bit bad because of all the turns, and then we won't buildings won't actually connect. There won't be row houses like here. They'll just kind of be like, you know, a spot and then some and then a spot and then some. Um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if I want to build this into higher residential. I might leave it. But we have plenty of space to get going. So let's get into trains. We are going to go to the transports. And we're going to go at trains. And we're going to get a cargo train terminal. And it has to be... It has to be on the road. See? So I have to put a road here. And I'm thinking that... Let's turn up the speed. Anyway, so the speed. We're gonna put a four lane four lane road. And let's do let's do sort of a sort of a loop. Uh it's like do it like that. And then go straight. And then we're gonna go connect to here. 
and this will make our train station have a bit of um, a bit of its own area and you know it's gonna cry about water and electricity and stuff but uh, we can get those in we can definitely put those in uh, the main problem we still have to connect the actual rail so let's do that and, and this kind of makes it so the rail is on its own so the train will come across I'll show you right now the train will come out go there and then from here uh, go back like that so it has its own sort of exit um, I could put in more residential or not residential commercial or industry here but that's really the only area where oil industry is so for now we're just gonna draw a um, power grid can we do it can't do it why don't we put why don't we put some um, why don't we put some zone some like basic um, commercial zoning right there low density and that should bring in our power you know I didn't actually put in oh, I did okay power no come on come on do it connect come on connect oh there we go sweet done okay so now we have we'll have trains coming in of course uh, there's a lot of things I can add next to this to make it look like a bigger train station there's even like huge train stations people made up and created on the uh, as, as mods and they're on the workshop uh, in Steam and I could do all those but I don't really want to take time with that I think this is good enough this is gonna get plenty of trains in there and supply our place with things and then our our actual goods will be carried out which we need we need our goods to be carried out um, building has burned down but that's okay because I have automatic bulldoze and that just went away and the new building will come back up cool I also will need a train station up here um, because this is also uh, this is a lumber or forestry industry and I don't know if I could do yeah I can't I can't connect I can't connect there because I'm, I'm, I'm not like I don't have that unlocked so I might have to bring a because uh, I can't put a rail from there out of city limits so I will have to like bring it from here Maybe I'll do a tunnel. You guys up for a tunnel? Rail tunnel? No? Maybe? Let's find out. Um, how are we going to find out? <laughs> Look at all the trains coming now. Sweet. Let's um, actually make this six lanes. Plenty of cars going through here gotta be careful with the bridges and such it won't let me do it I don't know why space is occupied it's trying to change the uh, way the way the pillars are set oh this is making our bridge look lame all right I like that previous bridge well that's okay let's pause this really quick and uh, change this out probably didn't need to do that one Probably did not. Uh, 
And... I beg your pardon. Uh, like I said, I didn't need to take that one out. So... Back there, here, this one, connect. This one, connect. Go! Go, go, gadget. Get back on the road, people. Look at that. Jeez. So, we still have a problem. Uh, this is obvious. Quite clear. Um, I think I think we will have another... Hmm. It's empty. Okay. So, we can actually demolish these. Because they're empty, we won't need them. We can put in more incinerators. To replace those. The incinerators don't have as many trucks. But... Uh, they just burn out, burn the, the garbage. Alright, so let's do... Uh, let's do a road over here. That'll make people have two ways to getting in. Apparently, I'm low on power. Again, somehow. Ah. There, fixed it. So yeah, this is definitely a busy, 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 busy area, and we should decide on what to do about it. I think I'm gonna do... I have to put more roads in, for sure. Um, but I'm on... Yeah, I could probably, I could probably do from here, go across, connect to the highway, go through here, and connect here. And I think I should do a tunnel through this hill. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Sounds like fun, right? Okay, again, a six lane. Six laner. Um, yeah, why don't, why don't we go out this way? It's not good if we do. Uh, and... Can we... There, that'll be a that'll be a tunnel there. Um, this isn't slope is too steep. Go out this way. Sweet. Much better, right? Okay, and um, I should put in a, some kind of interchange, and I haven't looked at which one I want to do. So maybe I just want to do another simple one, but let me see really quick. I think I'll do a, um, a roundabout thingy like I did at the other, at the, at, the ma at the beginning of the town. So if I can just place this. No. Bounce. Okay. So let's do a small runabout. Um, no, let's change my mind. Large one it is. So we can kind of put the pillars in a way where they're not in the way. I just said in the way, like in the way. They're in the way, but they're not in the way. Okay, so that one's go. That one goes straight through, and this one could possibly do a. Um, this one can do. What this one can do. Okay, that way. Went close, and I actually have to take this spot out. Come on, you. Of 
course. No? Never? No? Maybe? Tell you what, guys. Sometimes you just need to improvise. And we will improvise. It's not perfect. Okay, the not so perfect roundabout up top is fine. Now, <laughs> let's connect it. Let's just do it. Okay, um. Did I put I put that road backwards? Can I just uh, upgrade? No. There. Right click and it changes its direction. Cool. So let's hit play, and we need to have a um, a exit off of the roundabout. A entrance onto the roundabout. Another exit over here. And another entrance over here. Yay! Okay. And um, of course, that's no good until we actually connect it to a road which was coming from this side and we're gonna do the turn like this and then up to it I think I think that's what I want to do I think actually that's not what I want to do at all because that, that way it'll make everybody go up there um, Man. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Go underground. That's going across and in there, and this will also connect up top with a um, with a thing, uh, a regular like six laner. Um, go up to it, because then people can come in and out uh, of the dumb thing. Got it? Okay. And so is same with the side. You just have a Come on. We we don't wanna do that. We only wanna do that. All right, I know how to fix it. I think. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Freaking interesting. All right, so people are using it. That's good. Um, it should eliminate some of the traffic we've had on this side, which it has. Mission accomplished. Right? What happened here? Look at this. This is probably another 
problem why uh, nothing was working. There we go. And these are very ugly, so we'll have to fix it. And let's do something else uh, while we're here, and then this episode won't be just about that road in there, in that corner. Um, it says we need more commercial. Do I have commercial next to the... I have no... Yeah, I have some commercial here. Uh, our university is... I just kind of plopped it down. I might change it. This, uh, this is looking pretty busy here as well. I'm not sure why people are stopping. It's a roundabout, guys. Don't stop. Just go. Here. Um, uh, manual traffic lights. I think we're gonna... I think we're going to just switch traffic lights. That seems like it's adding traffic lights. <sighs> Maybe they're stopping because there's cars coming, but th there's not cars coming all, all the time, so I don't know. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go into the zone, into the thing, and click here, and I cannot upgrade to that. Um, how about we upgrade to... Take out the park. Why is it doing that? Is it doing that here too? Oh, these guys are fine. I think maybe because it's just busy. It's just busy over here. And they're kind of stopping. I don't understand why. Okay. There goes that that fun, fun fun bit. I think you guys should have a commercial over here, and uh, there should be more residential. Well, we don't need residential. We can need some offices in this corner. Okay. Um. What do you guys need? Enough goods to sell. Why put in trains, people? So that should be, you know, that should be taking care of the goods. Right? Uh, operating normally. This one. Not enough buyers. Okay. What else can I say, guys? This has been, um, this has been sort of non not productive, but we actually got a lot of our problems fixed because people are using this tunnel and bridge now, and um, it might have added more traffic here, as you can tell, which is okay, I think. Now we'll have to fix that problem. Uh, this doesn't have as much traffic anymore, so that's that's good. I still don't know why these people are parked next to the tunnel. They're probably like walking in the tunnel, they're like going in there uh, graffitiing. See, I told you, these people walking down, and the cops are after them. They're like, why, why are you guys putting graffiti up on the walls in the tunnel? Get, you're just pretending you're walking your dog. Look at this place, it's crazy. I think this has helped too. We have some nice neat buildings uh, in the low density um, even if they're not the you know row houses that we know and love. I'm, I'm guessing we'll have to look at um, see elementary school we're good and uh, this is also elementary school this is also elementary school high school we're doing okay University, we're doing okay. I even have a different university I can put down. Uh, why don't we put something that's really cool down? Uh, no more room. Let's empty. 
the cemetery should have a I have a crematorium right, right next to it there and how are we doing with this crime we're doing okay fire we're not doing so well but that's okay and um, health is fine uh, crematorium is fine and so is cemetery is not too bad it's like that number's going down there because we've told it to empty. It's like going up and down. Going up and going down. Uh, next time when we come back, I think we will continue working on this area and uh, we're going to we're gonna reposition the university. Uh, the high school has a field, um, which uh, I have to come up with a name. If you guys have a name for it, let me know. And the university is going to go a little bit more probably this way and have like its own little area and we're gonna add a specific park for it uh, and it's actually not a park it's a stadium uh, where are you there the medium fo football stadium uh, that's gonna go in and it's gonna be nice it's like uh, it's almost like a UK football stadium size and style. Um, why don't I put it down right now? Why don't I put it down? It's easy. I can just come out here with this road. And uh, pretend like I'm going to go this far with it. And then we're going to put in this to connect up. And yeah, what do we do? Hmm. Then we'll do something like this. We can put the university in here and the uh, stadium behind it. So let's grab, I keep going to the wrong place. Let's grab the stadium and uh, try to spin it so it's facing you know what it's it's fine if it's facing that way i don't know why it's facing that way it's just how it, it's just what it does uh let's let's change that idea with maybe a bit more road and then we can place it down better okay so it's looks like it's facing this way now and voila we have the stadium it doesn't have power Water is water is okay. Uh, let's let's fix the power thing by uh, actually moving the university. Hopefully, oh jeez. Um, hopefully, nobody inside will be mad uh, for us for the reason uh, that we're doing this. But um, we're just gonna remove it over here. Crying out loud! Space is occupied. Uh, let's spend more money by moving the stadium a bit more. Um, come on. Hook on, mate. It is placed around ro roadside. Okay, I had it for a second there. I'm running out of time, right? Need to make up your mind. Fine. You're staying over here. There's your new home. I spent that money to get you in a new place. And you're just gonna like it. Got it? So that's the university stadium there. And let's expand the. Um, yeah, I, I wanna say that, that I could do commercial there and residential here. So then our um, dots get connected. What do you think? It'll eventually expand it all uh, properly anyway. Done deal? Cool. Is it gonna happen? It's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> there it is, there it is. Nope. That's not, that's not good enough. 
I need something to pop in here. Okay, what do you guys think about it? You just get a power a power line behind your behind your lines there. Nice. So our, uni our university is back normal uh, and working in normal condition, and it has its own stadium. Our high school has its own field. I might have to move the field too because I want to make sure it lo all looks good here. Um, this is a uh, music school, and we're gonna have to put in more housing here for the students. It's obvious all this land is any construction, and um, these people people want more goods. So we're probably gonna have to do like um, regular industry zone a little bit, a little bit of regular industry. Uh, so let's let's do this. This is the last thing we'll be doing. Let's put in just this corner of regular industry. And it's Butler Park, and they're gonna make uh, Butler ware, uh, like like uh, chick uh, kitchen knives, you know, stuff you can like um, use to get your uh, foods all chopped up and um, working, you know, like appliances for the Butler to use, and all those things, even cabinets. Why not? Why not all of those? Let's let's go to about that that side. All right, so there we go. Butler Park is in. That will bring us more industry of regular, basic industry type. Uh, pollute this area a bit more. Uh, who cares that you know? Or maybe our oil industry is not doing so well right now. But we have the trains in. Uh, I don't know how else to end this so I'm gonna go into whatever mode this is here camera free camera mode and we're gonna look at the train station and the um, roundabout there somehow and say good night thank you for watching please do come back for the next episode um, hopefully it should be more entertaining looks like even the police car is going there um, he just parked and he's going to use the loo inside the train station but left his car right where all the trucks come out so he's getting ran over um, now he's going back and he's like oh crap my car um, but it seems to be okay he's just gonna go back in his car and uh, another police person went there and he's, and he's going that's one invincible police van all right you guys do hit the like button come back next time i do appreciate you watching and share this out with your friends if you liked it. Maybe they'll like it too. See you soon. Bye.